Hey, what's happening guys? It's Brendan here and in this video, I want to answer some of the questions that were directed at me yesterday when I posted in my Facebook group. So in my Facebook group, the Friends of Freedom, where we have this community here where we're all just working together to give ourselves a better chance at having a better tomorrow. In this group I posted yesterday, what's the one thing that you would like me to cover in the near future and today being the near future? Um, what's the one thing that you would like me to cover that will help you crack the code and learn how to make money online? Well, the responses that I got in the group is I got the response that people want to learn how to get cheap or free traffic. And then I also heard that people want to know, okay, well, after you get that traffic, how do you make good money from it? And I also had a request down here, um, how to write high converting emails. And I think especially this one is something that whether you know this is useful or not, learning how to write copy is one of the most important skills if you want to make money online. So I'm going to cover all three of these in this video. Hopefully you can take something out of it and it can help you get to the point where you're making five figures or more per month. So you've probably noticed from my other videos that I highly recommend buying solo ads. Now solo ads are about 40 to 50 cents per visitor, but really if you watch some of my other videos, I share how you can get this traffic for just 30 cents per visitor. Now of course, when you're just starting out, there's this huge fear that when you're spending money on traffic, you feel like you're losing money. But the reality is, is that paid traffic can be free traffic as long as you make back the money that you spend on that traffic. So for every dollar that you spent on traffic, you made $2, then you're not really spending money. You're investing money and you now have the capacity to get as much traffic as you want because all of the traffic that you buy makes you back that money that you spend. So really a lot of these big name marketers, they have mastered the use of buying paid traffic and getting a return on their investment and that has given them the license to print money. So one of the easiest ways to make money online is not to shy away from spending money, but learn how to spend money to give yourself that positive return on investment. However, if you are determined to make this work with just free traffic methods and you're not ready to invest in your business yet, then you still do have some good options. Now the first option I'm going to talk about is Instagram. About a week ago I created a video on this where I had about 950 followers and since then I've grown another 300 followers. Now I really didn't do anything to get these 300 followers. I just have this Instagram software running in the background that's going out and it's following like-minded profiles. Now when I follow other people those people are going to get notifications about me following them and a small percentage are going to end up checking out my profile and then an even smaller percentage are going to see my profile and then decide that they want to follow me. So you need to do pretty big numbers to get any kind of traction or any kind of results. But when you do this over time, you can gradually build a following. And if you look at my recent Instagram pictures, now I'm getting you know, like over 200 likes per picture. This picture has 370 likes. So already I'm growing a good sized audience and I've only been at this about a week or two weeks. If you expand these results over a larger period of time, it's very easy to see how I could build a significant traffic source from this one strategy alone and it took me almost no time to be able to do this. I did this all from scratch, so it's not like I had some advantage for having my business all built up in other ways. This business was built from scratch just with this one strategy and it's something that any of you guys that are watching this video can do. And if you want more information about this strategy, go check out my Instagram video. Another great option for a free traffic strategy is to create a blog. Now the danger with creating a blog is that if you're in an industry that's pretty competitive, like make money online or health or fitness, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to get any kind of significant results because 
When you're building a website, your goal is to get traffic from the search engines. Now, your ability to get traffic from the search engines is really going to depend on who you're competing with. Now, when I create a blog post because I'm in Make Money Online, I'm competing with people like Neil Patel, Matthew Woodward, very crazy, effective internet marketing bloggers. Whereas if I picked a topic that was more niche, if I wanted to talk about like netball or a really obscure topic like making puppets, those niche areas are going to be way easier for me to get traffic. However, the most competitive industries like Make Money Online are also usually the most profitable. So even though it's going to be harder for you in something like Make Money Online, the traffic that you do get is going to be more likely to buy stuff. So that's something that you want to keep in mind when you enter into this thing is that if you pick something like Making Puppets, it's going to be easier for you to get traffic and harder to monetize that traffic. Whereas with Make Money Online, it's going to be harder to get traffic but way easier to monetize. Now, in my opinion, blogging is one of the things that I've done that's been the worst in terms of effort to reward ratio. I've published quality posts for multiple years now, and I currently make about 200 visitors per day from my blog. Now, 200 visitors per day, that's good. Like, I enjoy those 200 visitors, and I can definitely leverage those to make money in my business. However, it took me a lot of time and a lot of work to get to this point. However, there are bloggers out there like Matthew Woodward who makes over $20,000 per month from his blog and he really doesn't have to do that much work anymore because he's set up a really awesome resource that beats out a lot of the rest of the competition. So there is room to make money in blogging but you need to take it seriously and you need to create high quality stuff. Now as far as if you are going to go with blogging, one option that's really powerful and really lucrative for a free traffic strategy is to do guest posting on a blog that's really influential. And Matthew Woodward actually, I was able to guest post on his blog and it didn't cost me anything. This was completely free about a year and a half ago. In order for me to guest post on Matthew's blog, I had to put together a really high quality post. So I spent four or five hours writing this post and making it as high quality as I possibly could. And then I contacted Matthew, who has this blog that makes $20,000 per month. And I said, hey, I have this really high quality post that I'm just going to give to you that you can use as free content on your blog. It just needs to link back to my stuff. So it links to my YouTube channel. It links to my blog. And from this strategy, I get several hundred visitors every single month from this guest post till this day. Now you might think two or 300 visitors per month, that's not really that much. But if you think about it, over the course of a year, 300 visitors per month is like uh, 3,600 visitors per year. So if I was gonna pay money, if I was gonna pay solo ads for that traffic, it would cost me a fortune. But instead, I spent four or five hours crafting together a high quality post and I was able to get all that traffic for free. So if you're willing to put in some work, you're willing to actually put out some really high quality stuff, there are free traffic options out there that are incredibly lucrative. So that's one of them. So, so far we've covered, you can do Instagram. This also applies for like Twitter, Tumblr, any social network where you can build a following. That's going to be a great option to get a nice traffic on tap that you can use to make money in a lot of different ways. The next option is blogging. And if you're going to do blogging, guest posting is a really effective way to get a huge boost and it doesn't cost you any money to get it. So those are my free traffic strategies that I highly recommend. Now, as far as the question of what do you do once you get that traffic? Well, the worst thing that you can do is get traffic and send it directly to an offer. The best thing that you can do is collect a subscriber of some sort. So whether that's an Instagram follower or it's a YouTube subscriber or it's an email subscriber, you want to capture 
a regular member of your tribe. Otherwise, you're always gonna be struggling to make money online because your strategies are all gonna be short-lived. You'll make some money, but then those visitors will go away and then you'll have to find new visitors. The way to actual passive income online that you don't have to struggle and scrape to get is by retaining your audience, okay? Now, one of my favorite ways to do that is with email marketing. Email is one of the easiest ways to have a list of followers that you can send messages to at any single time. So the traffic that you get, you should always be capturing into a regular member. Now, as far as email lists go, then the best way to do it is to have a landing page, a page that's actually dedicated to collecting a lead. Of course, you can have something on your blog to capture emails, but the conversion rates from a blog are not really going to be that high. The better option for you is to actually set up a page that's designed to capture subscribers. So I'm going to show you in a second here. I'm going to give you a, a quick look at one of my lead capture pages that converts at a really high rate. And then uh, we're gonna talk about how we can actually make money once we have those subscribers. So here's a landing page that converts for me at 56% conversion rate. Very straightforward. I would end up getting traffic here, whether it's from my blog or Instagram or Tumblr or whatever sort of medium that I'm look platform that I'm working on. And I would get people here, they would enter their name and email address, I would collect them as an email subscriber. Now, as far as converting those email subscribers into money, because that's the final question from this group, is what kind of messages do you send to these people to actually make some sales? Well, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna have goodwill with your subscribers. So if you just send out promotions all the time, then chances are you're gonna ruin your relationship that you have with the people that are following you. And this goes for anything. If on Instagram, all of a sudden, I just posted pictures of like, buy this, buy this, buy this, nobody would follow my stuff. So you want to be cool with the people that are following you. So one of the ways to be cool with your followers is to give them an insight into what's going on in your life. So what I like to do in some of my messages is I'll tell them about what's going on. So if I'm at a bar and I'm drinking beers with one of my friends or I'm going to the beach or something like that, I'll let people know what I'm doing because that way they have a little bit of an insight into the personal side of my life and that'll allow people to become more connected. And when I wrote this email, I got lots of replies back from people that were also in bars or people that like Irish bars or they like beers. Anyway, there was lots of opportunities for people to resonate and connect to this kind of social opener. Now, the other thing about creating high converting copy is having a very particular and specific angle for any message that you have. So for every single email, you should always be selling something. Now, when I say selling something, that doesn't mean that you always have to be promoting an offer, but you should always be getting people to do something because you have the opportunity here to condition your list to take the actions that you want them to take. So even if I don't have an offer to promote, I'll get people to click over to my blog or I'll get people to click over to my YouTube channel or I'll get people to join my Friends of Freedom Facebook group. But you should always be closing some kind of action and conditioning your list to click on links inside your email. Now, in this case, I actually am promoting something. And when you are promoting something, you want to have a strong and specific angle that you're going to decide as you're writing the email. So in this case, my angle is freedom. So it's about the freedom that can be granted from an online business. So after I have the social opening, I say the freedom to travel around the world is easy for anyone. You just need a good system like this. I'm giving people a reason to click. Now, the best angles in email marketing stir up some kind of emotional response. So when I say you can waste years on stuff that doesn't work. It's only until you find the right thing. There's a lot of people that will actually connect with this idea. And myself personally, I spent a lot of years wasted on stuff that didn't work. So if I was reading this email as a subscriber, this is something that would emotionally affect me and cause me to want to take an action. When people get emotionally stimulated, they're more likely to take an action. Now it's your job to guide them to the action that you want them to take. So this would be an example of an email that connects with my audience 
also has an angle and gets them to click over and take the action that I want them to take. Now we're going to take a look at another email that has a very different kind of angle and is also very high converting. So here's one of my best promo emails in a really long time and I'm going to explain here why this converts so well. So really when you're doing a promo email you want to have your main angle and you want that angle to jump out and be very clear to your reader. In this case my angle minimum of $50 per day or you're backed. The idea here is that we're taking the risk out of it. Now believe it or not people are more emotionally impacted by loss than they are by gain. So when it comes to copy it's often more powerful to let them know about how they're not going to lose anything then it is powerful to tell them about all that they are going to gain. So if I just said hey like you're going to make all this money that would still be an okay angle because people are greedy and they want money but it's actually even more powerful to say that hey you're not going to lose anything because one of the main things that stops people from taking action is the fear of it not working out. So my angle here is very clear to my reader. I'm saying that minimum of $50 per day which is attractive to a lot of people and then I'm saying or you're backed. So I'm saying don't worry about it there is no risk. Now if you go to the copy whatever you pick for your subject line is going to be your main angle for the email. The copy of the email should reinforce your main angle. So in this case I'm saying Glenn's new course has an awesome promise. He's so confident it will work that he's claiming you'll make 50 per day. If you don't you can request a refund at any time. Pretty cool right? What do you have to lose? And then click on the link. Now if I'm the reader here the angle that I'm getting burned into my brain is the idea that I don't have anything to risk in this situation. So it's kind of like when I'm rationalizing this I'm thinking is this something that I want? Do I want to be able to make money? Of course I do. Now what would stop me from wanting to make money? Well the risk of me spending money and not getting the result that I'm looking for. So I'm saying okay you have this benefit and you don't have a negative consequence because if anything goes wrong you can easily get that money back. So I'll get the link earlier on in the email. That's a big mistake that people make. You should always have a link early up in the, co the copy to get as many clicks as possible. So never hide your links. Make sure your links very, very visible. And then the rest of the copy is going to keep reinforcing this single angle. So after I have this opener here that gets people to click, then I say I love getting involved in no risk outcomes. Think about it. If it works, you have a handy passive income stream that you could use for these benefits and if it doesn't work who cares you can get your measly investment back anyway. Okay. Now the reason why this is working here is because who can disagree with this when you say the sentence here I love getting involved in no risk outcomes who's going to read that and say that's ridiculous I love getting involved in uh, I love like I hate getting involved in no risk outcomes. So you're presenting and I you're supporting your angle with something that's irrefutable. That's something that just people just have to accept and agree with right. And then you're also telling them about the upside. So the beautiful thing about this email copy and I this email converted crazy like gangbusters. The reason why this email converted so well is because I'm giving people the upside and I'm taking away the downside. Now of course people use a refund guarantees all the time like this is a warrior plus offer pretty much 95 percent of warrior plus offers have a refund guarantee but it's all about how you promote and you feature that offer. There's very few people that do copy that actually focuses and use it as one of their main selling points that it has a refund but given the way that people are driven this is a great angle and a great opportunity to make a lot of money. This email one of the best promoting emails I've done in a long time and it's all about the angles. So this is one particular angle that works well taking away the risk get good result no risk for you. Whatever your angle is that you're focusing on whether it's making a lot of money or it's freedom or there's no risk involved whatever your angle is you want to reinforce that angle consistently and regularly throughout the entire promotion. So I hope that I adequately answered the questions brought up in the Friends of Freedom Facebook group. If you have any other questions 
don't hesitate to contact me below this video. And if you like this video, give it a YouTube like. And if you disliked it, then give it a YouTube dislike because I use your feedback to figure out which videos to create in the future.